Uh, so, as I mentioned before, we're gonna go Rally of the Hornburg. Then we're gonna antagonize on Zara. And it's gonna go on everything. And that's. There we go. We got it. We got him to concede. Welcome back to Commander Fridays. Today at the helm we have Zara Hadron Grinder. Zara is a neat commander. Uh, although it's played similarly to the ways in which other goblin tribal decks are built, you just go wide, uh, it does have a neat little ability which we're going to get into right now. Zara Hedron Grinder is a 4 drop 3 3 goblin creature that reads whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only Zara Hedron Grinder. Copy that spell for each other creature you can you control that the spell could target. Each copy targets a different one of those creatures. So for this particular build, we obviously have a little bit of ramp. Uh, Spring Leaf Drum is a particularly good one for Goblin Tribal decks or token decks in general as you have a lot of uh, mana production. But this deck is full of instant and sorcery spells that target only a single creature, for instance Zada. And then it also it's just your regular old uh, Goblin Tribal where you're going to go wide. So without further ado, uh, let's jump right into some gameplay and as always, make sure to let me know what commanders you'd like to see next. Thanks. Okay, so let's play Minds of Moria first, as we don't have a one drop. Oof, this is gonna be rough. I just have a feeling this is gonna be a rough game. Okay, so let's go. Battle Cry Goblin, as well as Ornithopter. Tom Bombadil. Okay. Um, Odling Outburst. Attack with battle cry. Okay. So he's ramping up pretty good. So Bombadil can come out probably soon, if not next turn. Okay, so we're gonna go with Zara this turn. Um, and we are just not going to attack this turn. Next turn we'll do a Rally of the Hornburg first. And then we will play Antagonize onto Zara, if it's still on the field, of course. Unless he exiles it right now, which is very possible. Okay, but he decided to bring out Tom Bombadil. Okay. Uh, so... As I mentioned before, we're gonna go Rally of the Hornburg. Then we're gonna antagonize on Zara. And it's gonna go on everything. And that's, there we go, we got it. We got him to concede. Archfiend Vessel. I have no ramp, which is not good. At least I can start with Bloodline Pretender. So he, oh, run amok. Over arcane bombardment or city on fire? Why? Okay, 
so let's go squee. I guess taking out Venomuck does stop Zara from get, getting going. But I still would have taken out Arcane Bombardment or Sitting on Fire. Either one would have been a good choice. Play Mindstone and Bloodline. Uh, Goblin. Attack for one. No, I'm not going to kill it, because I know it just comes back as a 5-5. Five five. Thought Seize. Arcane Bombardment, gone. That's cool. Uh, so we got 5, 6, we have to convoke both. That's fine. I'm gonna bring out uh, Beetle back, I think, before Zara. Okay. Thanks for that. Yeah, I can do that. It's gonna be... Can't discard, obviously, but... Bloodline gets boosted up a little bit. We can start hitting pretty heavy. I think I've been fortunate in that he hasn't drawn anything good. There's what else. Okay. We'll play Zara. I will discard the file of Galadriel for no reason apparently. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice Mindstone. Give me Terror of the Peaks all day. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, so Archfiend comes out as a 5-5 five five because I messed up. Blocks. Terror of the Peaks. Hit him for nine. Uh, it's probably going to bring out Archfiend Vessel now. Just so we can be the 5 5. Demon. Ossification on Terror of the Peaks, of course.
<laughs> and that right there is game. Because he got lucky with the Terror of the Peaks. Being uh, that he pulled the ossification. That was just a lucky draw. And there's nothing really I can do here. This have menace? No. Menace? No. Okay. So. I'm just push with bloodline, but that's about it. Otherwise, I'm. It's gonna be a loss, so I'm just gonna concede here. No need to waste each other's time. He got lucky with the ossification, I will say. If he didn't have that, I think I might have been able to come back here. But. You win some, you lose some. Play Mind Moria, just because we don't have any one drops anyways, so it's kind of just for funsies. And I will play Young Pyromancy. Okay, we're gonna play Heraldic Banner. We're gonna go red. Then we're gonna go. No, we're going to attack. And we're going to give Young Pyromancer a little boost. Guardian Project. Let's play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. I'm gonna play Antagonize on Young Pyromancer. Build up our board a little bit. that okay good game I guess I'll take that all right so good opening hand uh, let's go arcane signet that's fine we'll keep that there we can play Zada next turn Tower into Zara, Edmont Commander, and we're not going to attack. Play Wily Goblin. Uh, let's play Dragon Fodder. We'll put that aside. And we're gonna do Titan Strength on Zara. I want Renegade Tactics. So we can get some draw next turn. Um, I don't think he, he might block. No. Okay, so he just wants to keep building.
Acrobat is one of the more annoying decks I've noticed. Yes, I'm sure I want to target Zara. Then I'm going to target all my creatures to give me draw. Let's go with Terror of the Peaks. Zara, and let's also go Dragon Fodder in order to block. Let's graveyard that. Fiery inscription, that's fine. How much damage is it dealing? One. Let's just go to the face. Tack, 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 and attack with four. And that's GG. Good game. Good game. <laughs> 